pork tenderloin is often sold pre-seasoned or marinated at the supermarket, but I'm not a fan of those products. I think they taste a little artificial and they have a mushy texture. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a good pork tenderloin with real flavor by putting it on the grill with a little spice rub. As long as we're on the grill, I'm gonna make a quick grilled pineapple salsa to go with it. Now, how to tell if a pineapple is ripe. This is what I've been told and this has always worked for me. So I'm gonna pass it on to you. You wanna to try to pick the pineapple with a leaf from the center. If you can't pick the pineapple up or it goes like that and the leaf falls out, your pineapple is ripe. I don't know if that's exactly true, but it's never let me down. All right, so now we're just gonna grill half of this pineapple for the salsa. And I'm gonna cut the top off and I'm gonna cut the bottom off. Now I'm just gonna use a sharp knife to cut the skin away from the pineapple. And I know there are some fancy ways to do it at a diagonal with these little grooves to get out those pineapple eyes. I'm still mastering that. So when I master it, then I'll show you. You wanna trim away those dark eyes, but you don't wanna to waste too much pineapple. So this is where I go back and I try to just take off just enough because those eyes have a really funky texture that you don't wanna eat. All right, so we're gonna save half of this pineapple for later. To grill the pineapple, I'm gonna cut this half a pineapple into six wedges, and I haven't removed the core yet. You can just slice it right out. Cut it into some nice long wedges that won't fall through the grill grates. I'm gonna put it over here on this baking sheet. We're gonna have a clean sheet for the cooked food when it comes back in. The salsa also has a little bit of red onion, and we're gonna grill that too for a little extra flavor. I'm just gonna cut off the stem end, then cut through the root end, leaving that root end intact so it helps keep those layers together. And now is when I peel the onion. Cut this into eight wedges. That just ensures that they'll cook through quickly on the grill. Put these on the baking sheet to go outside. Now I'm gonna give that pork just a little bit of flavor by making a simple spice rub. And it starts with just a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. And secret ingredient, a teaspoon and a half of sugar. This adds flavor, but it also encourages good browning on the grill. Half a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon uh, of chipotle powder, which adds spice and a little smoky flavor. So just gonna mix this up and I'm going to reserve half a teaspoon of this to add to the salsa. That way the flavors will marry nicely. Time for the pork tenderloin. Now, usually these don't need a ton of trimming, but you can see this one has some silver skin. You wanna take that off because that's gonna be pretty chewy. Just gonna use a boning knife. Boning knives are good here because they're flexible. And that flexible knife is gonna make it really easy to get under that silver skin without getting too much of the meat. You just poke right under the silver skin and then angle the knife blade up. You see how it's angled up away from the pork tenderloin? That just allows you to get very little meat so you're not wasting a lot, but you're getting that chewy silver skin off. Now that looks pretty good. This little bit of fat I'm gonna leave on. It's gonna render on the grill and it's gonna taste pretty good. You don't want it to be too lean. I put everything on the sheet pan. That just makes it easy to carry it out to the grill all at once. To get ready for the grill, the pineapple and the onions just need a little bit of oil. This is vegetable oil. I'm gonna rub it all over. And then for the pork tenderloin, I'm gonna sprinkle with this spice rub. Mmm, you wanna sprinkle it all over. Oh, it's gonna add good flavor. All right, so this is all ready for the grill. I'm just gonna get cleaned up and we can head outside. So I've been heating this grill up for about 15 minutes with all the burners on high, so it's good and hot. And I have no shame in my game putting one of these on. This grill gets really hot and I like to protect my hands. So first up, we're gonna clean the grill. So we're just gonna scrape off any of the food that stuck to the grill grates from last time I cooked. And now we're gonna oil the grill. So I have a wad of paper towels, I have a nice long pair of tongs, and a bowl of vegetable oil. I just dip the paper towels into the vegetable oil. We're gonna rub it all over the grill grates. Now that the grill is all good and clean, it's time to turn two of the burners off. I'm leaving just that primary burner on. That creates a hot side and a cool side, which is what you want when you're cooking pork tenderloin. And I'm gonna cook this on the hot side for about eight minutes, turning it every few minutes so that it gets nice and well browned on all sides. Now, depending on the strength of your gas grill, you might wanna close the lid to help trap that heat so you can get nice browning on all sides. If you have a really powerful grill, however, you can just cook with the lid open. So it's been a couple minutes on that first side. Oh, looking good. So we're just gonna spin it and get grill marks all the way around. I've been browning this pork nicely on all sides. We have one last side to do. You can see how beautiful that char is. That's the charred sugar and spices, which is gonna taste delicious. 
so it will just be a couple more minutes on this last side. Oh, beautiful. You can see it's nice and evenly charred all around. Now I'm gonna slide these pork tenderloins over to the cool side of the grill. That way they can finish cooking evenly without burning on the outside. And while they cook through, it's time to cook the pineapple and onions for the salsa. So onto the hot side, the pineapple goes. And it's the same for the onions. About eight minutes to get some nice grill marks on all sides. Let's see, oh, this pineapple has beautiful grill marks on both sides, but it's still holding together. We haven't overcooked it, which is just right. So we're gonna take it off the grill and I'm putting it on a clean tray. These onions also look perfect. You can see they're lightly charred and they've really wilted substantially and that's a good thing. I put them on the sheet pan. All right, so now let's take a look at the pork. Again, we're looking for an internal temperature of around 140 degrees. Perfect, 142, right on the money. So we're gonna take these off the grill. This looks beautiful. Now I'm just gonna tent the pork just while it rests and we can head inside. Now that we're back inside, I'm gonna transfer these pork tenderloin to a carving board so they can finish resting there. And we'll set that aside while we make the pineapple salsa. I'm just gonna chop the pineapple into slightly smaller pieces before I add it to the food processor. For the onions, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna cut out that root end because that doesn't taste good. A few other things to add to the salsa. I'm gonna add a chili pepper. I'm just gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna scrape out the ribs and the seeds because I don't want this salsa too spicy. Just gonna cut these into slightly smaller pieces before I add it to the food processor. In it goes. Next, I'm gonna add a little fresh lime juice, about two tablespoons or so. You can add more to taste. That looks good. And now the reserved spice seasoning that we used for the pork. I'm gonna add this to the salsa. Gonna add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And last but not least, a good helping of cilantro. You wanna go for about half a cup, but I love cilantro, so sometimes I add a bit more. I'm gonna trim away those tough stems at the bottom, but the more delicate stems in the middle and towards the top, I'm just gonna throw right in there. Into the food processor goes the cilantro, and now I'm just gonna pulse it a few times, four or five times, till it's a nice salsa consistency. Hmm. A little extra cilantro on top for our garnish, looks pretty. Now we do have a few other salsas that taste great with this pork, one with tomatillos and one with tomatoes, and you can find them on our website. The pork is done resting and it's time to give it a taste. Now, <laughs> this looks really good. I love that char on the pork. Mm, that little bit of the pink inside is just how I like it. And now the salsa. Mm. Perfectly cooked. That has good flavor. The texture of the pork is just tender enough with that nice char on the outside. And the salsa has a bright, fresh flavor. Oh, the total bite right here. A little bit of pork, a little bit of salsa. That's what pork tenderloin is supposed to taste like. If you wanna make this awesome pork tenderloin, just remember two things. First, you wanna turn the pork frequently as it cooks, and second, pull it from the grill when it reaches 140 degrees. From America's Test Kitchen at home, an amazing recipe for grilled pork tenderloin with a grilled pineapple and red onion salsa. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.